So, Ruth, I'm glad you brought some numbers up and, this, and stuff like you're talking about beating on the charts. So the, the rate of poverty is on a decline amongst black people. The rate of incarceration since the early 90s is down like 40 percent. The rate of the rate of teenage pregnancy is down amongst black people. So we could talk about say, social media now. It looks worse, but in most metrics where black people can actually improve, we actually are improving as a society, maybe slowly but surely, but we are, we're on the up versus being on the decline. So we have to take that into consideration. So although it may look a lot worse when you watch social media and the algorithm knows what to feed you, and guess what? If you don't pay attention to it, you're not gonna see shit like that. My Twitter feed looks very different from your Twitter feed versus everybody on this whole panel. We all get different feeds in our timeline and they show you things that they know you will watch they have you down to a science that's why these advertisements come up and it's specific to some shit you already looked at probably already bought and all that. they know everything about you there's too much they're listening to you when you put all the when you say yes to all of these apps and stuff they're listening to what you're saying they know exactly what you're interested in they know you like they know anything like it's crazy how much information they have on you they're only going to feed you what you're going to watch if you don't watch that type of stuff if you're not entertained by it you won't see it and your reality will look very different from mine social media is going to paint a very different picture of us so even as we begin to excel and turn the corner it's still going to look like we're on the decline when they bombard you with sexy red material or cardi b or any other degenerate that just wants to doom us right and bring us down into the gutter they're going to show you those and those that's what's going to be hot and that's what's going to be shocking they're going to keep showing that go ahead should we have a campaign just turn it off the turn it off why can't we run our own campaign they they run the stuff we need to run our own things and come up with our own agendas because we it's like we're not fighting it's like they keep putting out stuff but we're not fighting them back at all turn it off if you turn off sexy red i listen i i, I could have never imagined the, the, I can't even say the words of the song. <laughs> like, that's all I know. But, like, just like, turn it off. And when we turn it off, you're voting. You're voting. And even if the kids are not up to it, the parents can start doing it. And eventually they'll start doing the same thing. But if they hear your, if you hear your mother and your father rapping those lyrics, you're going to rap them too. No, nobody well, listens. Think- listen. I, I would say this, though. Nobody listens to Sexy Red, though. <laughs> not for real. Nobody listens to Suki Hana for real. Because if, and, and how I know this, is because it would manifest itself in their record sales, their streams, as well as their the the um their numbers when it comes to selling um to selling uh concert tickets uh ticket let's, sales. Let's keep letting them lose money and they'll stop. They'll yeah, stop nobody's working. actually like if you ever notice the reason why they stay relevant is because they have to get on. There's a reason why they have to jump in front of the camera and do wild shit to get attention because they need to stay relevant on social media. But in reality, nobody's actually listening. To them. Yeah, but when you when you got a person like Drake throwing a feature on with Sexy Red on the mixtape, it's Mm going to bring those those hits and it's going to get those views. So that's the problem. I think they they get enough camera time, even if it's just through the dumbass videos and shit like that. You you can't avoid them, and a lot of these people are plants, in my opinion. They are there just to (laughs) keep us where we are, right? Like they like a lot of these people don't have any business because they don't necessarily have the best music however the best producers they have access to them and that right there and i don't know how much of y'all are familiar with an earworm and what an earworm is designed to do it's designed to make a very simple stupid ass hook that you can remember if you remember you repeat it if you and you like it and you listen to it and then when you have this shit in rotation 30 times a day like buster rom said like you now you're singing it now it's just part of you like you appreciate it differently so at any point these people have already crafted this perfectly by design for us to be able to listen to these things and relate to it differently it's going to resonate with you differently just because of the hooks most of these rappers are straight trash but when you come up with these very uh i guess elementary hooks and you have it behind some nice sound and bass and and it's it's mixed well it's gonna hit different and the kids can't stop it boycott what boycott rap for a minute for what we can't move the needle we can't move the needle we it it starts with the children because we don't have we don't have the time do you know the the usage rate of a teenager somebody from like 16 to 
25 versus most of us on the panel, com- we can't move the needle. Um, they said that? And you know what? It's not enough of us that's going to boycott this book. Why not? We never tried it. Maybe I'll just what? start doing it the way we want to, to what we want to hear versus what we don't want to hear. You trying, you trying to get us to, you trying to get us to do something unified and be on the same thinking. Hold we can't on, even wait, sleep in the same wait. damn bed. Wait, this, we are under the assumption that the type of music that we hear, we don't want to hear. We're under that assumption. Even the, if the, you like it, though, is my point. But you're, but you're asking somebody that to not listen to something that they like. The reason why this music is getting pushed is because that's what we like. Now, I would argue that this is one of the main problems with it is that the things that are positive don't get enough attention. So to, to that lady's point, that the reason why you constantly see the negative aspects of our culture being portrayed in media is because the positive aspects don't get enough attention. It's the leading. Everybody has every culture has negative aspects of their culture that gets portrayed on television. It, it happens across the board. The problem is it's not leading. And if you ever noticed in our culture, if you Shay Room got 25 million followers right now. You think most of the content that they put on there is positive content regarding black folks? It's bullshit. But that's why we but have if you, to have unity. We if we if we decide to put our minds to something and we, we could definitely do it. But can I say something to what Trev said earlier? You said something about we're fine or whatever on the on the like we're doing better. But like I used to be like, well, I, I was a B student and I learned how to become an A student. It's when I became detail oriented. And I started saying, you know what, I, instead of me getting an 89, I'll get a 91, I'll get a 95, and I kept increasing. I focused on, even though we're doing good, we could do excellent. You can you can raise a child by yourself as a woman, but you, as a parent, you're supposed to um, put your child in the best position possible. So it would be an excellent, you're giving your child excellent chances when you have their father. So we got to stop thinking of, I'm fine, I'm okay, and come up to like, you know, good, great, and excellent. I don't want I don't want you to get that point misconstrued. Uh, my my point in saying that we are doing better than what social media or society in general is projecting. That's different. That's all I'm saying. Like so, even though we are actually better as a people, and we're on it. And I'm not saying I'm satisfied with the progress. I push for human improvement. That's my new model now. Is human improvement. So I'm constantly working. I'm on an endless pursuit. Of perfection, right? That and I and I, I try to bring people with me, so that's that's the motive. But what I'm saying is that how we are depicted is not accurate, and I think it's an important note to make. I agree, but just like that's your motto, we the best. Like we can be the best. Like if we start putting that in our minds, like look, we the best out there. Let's just prove it. I think that once we start changing our language and our mindset, we will actually produce those results. Even if we did, even if we did become unified on the same thing, we we wouldn't start with music. We would start with something in the household, <laughs> something different like politics or some shit like that. We wouldn't even really. The music is going to change itself once we get our get our shit together in the household. What we, you know, what we allow our kids to, or what our kids become privy to, is going to change. 